This video will cover how to install WordPress with SiteGround. You will need an account with SiteGround, of course. If you don't have one yet, I'll leave my affiliate link to SiteGround below the video. You will want WordPress hosting, and I recommend the Grow Big plan. If you wanted a more detailed tutorial on how to sign up with SiteGround, I'll leave a link to that below as well. Once you have a SiteGround account, you can log in by going to login.siteground.com. From the dashboard, select Websites. And now select Site Tools for the domain that you want to install WordPress on. Select WordPress from the list to expand this, and then select Install and Manage. If you have a completely fresh SiteGround account, when you selected Websites from the SiteGround dashboard, you would have seen something like this instead. Your domain will be pending. You can click the Complete link here and this will load the Add New Website wizard. Select Start New Website, and you will have the same options to install WordPress. The wizard just displays these a little different. Here we can choose between WordPress or WordPress plus WooCommerce. This series is focusing on WordPress alone, so that is what I'll select. I'll have another series that covers WooCommerce. We need to choose where we want WordPress to be installed to, if you are using the new website wizard, you won't have this option. That wizard will install WordPress directly to your site.com, which is actually what we want. If you wanted to install WordPress to something like your site.com forward slash blog, then you could enter forward slash blog here. But I want to install WordPress directly to my site.com, so I'll delete all this and leave it as just forward slash. Select a language. This option, Install Starter Plugins to help you, I recommend leaving this ticked. Those plugins are helpful for newcomers. These are installed by default with the new site wizard. The admin info, these will be the details that you use to log into the admin side or the dashboard of WordPress. The site wizard won't have the option for the username. The username will automatically be the email address that you enter. So for username, I'll put in my name as I will be the admin of this website. I don't like using admin as the admin login, as that is much easier for people to guess. I'll enter in my email address. I'll generate my password so that it is secure. You can enter in your own if you like. I'll show this, and then I'll copy this somewhere safe. And now I can click install. For the new site wizard, you want to click continue. There'll be some extra services that you can add here. But if you didn't choose these when you signed up for SiteGround, then you likely don't need these now. So just click Finish, and WordPress will install. Now WordPress is installed and ready to use. You can log into WordPress by going to yoursite.com forward slash wp dash admin. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. To keep me motivated to make more free tutorials, please subscribe like the video and leave a friendly comment and if you didn't like this video no problem smash that dislike button twice even and let me know everything i did wrong in the comments more tutorials with wordpress and other website tutorials check out the website i'll leave a link in the description below